Hello and welcome along to Adobe Muse Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this couple of videos we're going to create a menu driven scrolling technique. So let's get stuck in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new site like this under the file menu or Apple N. Now it's going to be a desktop layout. So I'm just going to make it 1000 pixels wide by about 4500 pixels deep like this which is quite a deep page but you'll see why soon now the columns I'm gonna make it eight columns wide now the margins I'm gonna type in zero and click on this and that should make them all zero and zero padding and zero bottom like that okay the resolution is going to be standard okay we're ready to go now, as this is a single page exercise, we won't be using our master pages down here, which of course are used mainly for multi page documents. Okay, I'm going to double click on this home page and zoom out, Apple minus. As you can see, I can't see my guides, so I'm going to go to view, show guides like this, and Apple minus to zoom out. Let's have a look at our page. It's quite a long page, but that's okay. I'm going to zoom it out like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my layers and I'm going to double click on this layer like that and call this back for background. So that's going to be my background layer. Then I'm going to grab a rectangle, draw a rectangle like this to fill up that whole area down to the footer like that. Now I'm going to click on fill like this and I'm going to click on add image. Now the image I want is this one here. And I'm going to use the fitting of scale to fill like that, which is good. And I'll position it in the middle like that using my little pin thing there. Okay, so there's my background. It's more of a texture really than a um, than an image. Very nice. Okay, now I need to place some images. So I need to create a new layer. I'm going to lock that background layer so it doesn't get in the way. Add a new layer double click on it and type in images like this and to place those images I'm going to go to file place and here are the images I want these six images I'm going to click open like that and away I go I'm just going to start to click click from my loaded cursor like that very nice indeed, as you can see. Okay, now I need to line them all up, or align them as, as Adobe likes to call them. Call that, so I'm going to click on here, like this, with the shift key down. I'm selecting all of my images, like that. And I'm going to go to Window Align, like that. And I'm going to align my objects, like that, so they line up ver um, vertically, like this. And then use this one down here to distribute them, like that. So now I know all my images um, are lined up and they're evenly spaced, which is what we want. Okay, let's zoom in a bit. Apple Plus like this, as you can see there, over to the left. So to fix that, I'm going to hold the Shift key down and use the arrow and just move them across. And using my guides like that, I can see now they're in the center like this. That's about the same on both sides, which is great. Now I can go to View. Like this, I can hide my guides. I don't really need them anymore. Okay, my page is looking good. I can click anywhere to deselect my images. Now, what I need to do is to add a menu. I just zoomed in with an Apple Plus there. I need to add a menu to drive this whole um, scene we're looking at. Now, to do that, I'm going to use the Widgets Library. A horizontal menu like this. I'm going to click and drag it out. Like that. And as you can see, we've only got one menu item. Now, if this was a multi-page document, we'd let Muse make an automatic menu. But let's make a manual menu for this one. So I'm going to click on up here, click on manual like that. And make sure edit together is stuck on like that or ticked if you like. Okay, now what I need to add some more menu items. To do that, I just simply click on that menu once. Actually, I'll click on it twice to do it. So click on it once, then click twice to get this little plus sign, and then click that plus one, two, three, four, 
five, six. I've now got six menu items like that and looking very, very good. Okay, I'm going to click off my menu and click on to it again and then just drag it out to be the width of the pictures like that. And let's do a little bit of um, um, basic styling of this menu. Right, to do that, I'm going to zoom in a bit, Apple Plus, like this. I can see it. And hold my space bar down so I can drag it across a little bit. And I'll get rid of my widgets library. I don't need that now. The first thing I want to do is round the corners on this menu. So to do that, if I click on the menu once, then click on it again, it selects one of the menu items, just like that. And up here, you'll see this much the same as InDesign, if you're familiar with that. It's got this little rounded corner thing, which will round those corners, looking very good. I also need to change what it says inside these slides. So to do that, I'm going to click on it once, twice, three times like that. Go to my Type tool and just double click and type in Slide 1. And I'll just copy that so I don't have to type it again. Command C. Go to the next one, double click on it. Apple V, and that'll be slide two. Same again, Apple V, that'll be slide three. Same with this one here, Apple V, that'll be slide four. This one over here will be slide five. And I'll just move that across so I can see the last one. This one will be slide six. Okay, let's get to actually styling a little bit more by styling the states of our menu. What that simply means is how we interact with it. In other words, when we roll over it and click and things like that. To do that, we'll use our states over here like that. Click on states and you can see we have the four states. Normal, rollover, mouse down and active. To do that, I'm simply going to click on my menu, click on select one of the menu items. And I'm just going to change, in the normal state, I'm going to change it to a, a nice orange like that. Orange being the new black. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my rollover state. Now, I'm not really sure what color to choose here. This is a t one of those awkward taste situations. So I'll just, yeah, I'll make it that color. That's fine when I roll over it. And this color here, when I click on it, this is going to be extremely fleeting. So I'll just make it black. It doesn't matter. And in our active state, like this, I'm going to make it a, a light peach color. That just tells you at which slide you're looking at at the time. Okay, so that's it. Let's preview that and let's see what it looks like. Great. Now it doesn't do anything yet. But our menu is looking good. And it's as we interact with it, you can see it changes color. And we click on it on the mouse down state, it goes black but we haven't actually connected anything together yet. So that's what we'll do in the next movie.